Welcome back to Redona Designs. I'm your host, Ridik Okwemba. So in the last episode, we modeled the base. And uh, in this episode, we're going to model the top. So uh, let's go back to the feature manager tree, select on the sketch, and then hide it. So next up, we're going to select on this face that is highlighted blue and then we're going to start a sketch on that face so go to the sketch tab and then click on sketch to start a sketch and then we're not going to do anything other than go to convert entities and click on it it has created a sketch describing the outline of the box then we're going to use this sketch to create our, our lead so just click on the extruded boss base and then let's change its size to two millimeters then uncheck merge you don't want them to merge you want it to be a separate body and click on ok so that's the the first part of the top but the top needs to protrude inside the base so in order for us to design the other part the inside part of the lead we are going to have to access the base again so what we're going to do we're going to select this top lead that we just created and hide it then we're going to select the same face the top face of the base and then I'm going to start a sketch on it. So this time we're going to select convert entities. So this time we're going to convert entities of the inner wall. So select that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge edge and this edge and then click OK so we're going to use this to offset offset command and now we're going to reverse the offset and then under the construction geometry make the base geometry because you're not interested on the on the on the one that we just converted we're interested in this one the new one that we're going to offset click on ok so after that go back to the solid bodies folder on the feature manager tree and highlight the boss extrude and click on show so go back to the feature click on extrude boss base and ensure that it's extruding downwards and change it to 3 millimeters then on the feature scope down here uh, uncheck uncheck auto select and then we're going to select this top body the lead so we want it to merge to the lead not the base so click ok and we have created our lead so if it if you can take a look at the section view we'll see that we have two features so we have the top and the base and there's a little gap between them so that gap is going to be important because that is what is going to help us to mate the two the top and the bottom in the snap feature so be sure to join us in the next video as we're going to create the snap feature thank you and see you next time